looking good. Really, really shallow looking water, but there's some little pools that I've seen just driving over this thing. I'm kind of winding through it right now. Yeah, I'm just gonna get out and I'm gonna wait it. I'm getting excited. All right. Oh, shoot. Almost lost you guys. So, got the little spinning setup with the eight pound test on a medium light. Got another Stratic. Uh, this is a 2500. These are like perfect for these little creek fish down here. So, I'm gonna take my little uh, wacky jig head here. I feel like that looks fairly accurate, like a crawfish. So, we'll see what happens. No idea. Okay, I definitely see a small bass. I think it sees me too, though, is the only problem. Okay, there we go. Okay, I got him. Got him. I got him. I got him. I got the bass. Oh, there we go. Look at that tiny little dude. There he goes. All right. That didn't take long. It's crazy. There's a tiny little bass. Oh, he got it. I got it. I got it. Came up and popped it. Yeah. I was a fly fisherman for 2.5 seconds. That was pretty neat. Get him back in the water. There you go. That looks very slippery. All right. Here, oh man, that water feels nice on the feet. I just spooked a good one. Two pounder at least. There's one looking at it right now. I can see him. I can see the shadows. Oh my gosh, look at this guy. Seriously, look at this guy right here. Let's walk down here and see if we can maybe catch one that's not so pressured. Wolf pack of bass right here. They're on the move. They're on the move. Oh, I got one. I got him. Oh man. Oh, I got him. Oh man. Right there in that hole, baby. Yes. That's a guad, I think. Yes. That's a Guadalupe, ladies and gentlemen. There we go. That's a Guadalupe. You can see the broken up lines down here. They don't get very big, but you can only catch these in this central part of Texas. So I'll let the little guad go. Aggressive little guys. Woo. Well, that was pretty fun. I didn't catch any big fish, but that's, you know, it's not bad for just pulling over to the side of the road. Plus I caught a Guadalupe bass, which is awesome, but I didn't really know I was fishing a, uh, a glorified swimming hole. Let's go see if we can find another spot. All right, so I'm looking to see right now if there's any other creeks pretty close. Let me tell you guys something about finding creeks, whether it be uh, on land with an aerial view or when you're out on the lake, if you can find really big trees, like the thicker trees, that's normally where the, the old little creek bed is because those trees are getting the most water and they're growing bigger than the other trees. So if you're looking at a map and you start to see like really good line of, of big trees, whereas the rest of the, the woods kind of look, uh, you know, sparse. Uh, that's a good indicator. There's probably a creek, a creek bed in there somewhere. All right, I think I see one right here. Looks like there's a couple of public parks. I don't know. We're just gonna go find out. Yeah. All right. Just got my one little spinning rod. I've got one little bag of plastic worms. And that is it. Okay, this looks, oh yeah, here's some water. Here we go. I already see a bass. I already see a bass out in the middle of the creek. And there's a snake as well. Oh, I got some. Oh man. Here we go. I think this is a green eared sunfish. Pretty cool. Nice cyan color in it. Pretty. Oh gosh, 
Oh gosh, that's a good one. That's a good one. Oh, it's a huge bluegill. Holy crap, guys. Look how big that bluegill is. All right. That thing was huge. Ah, this looks like heaven right here. Where are the eight pounders? Man, that's the deepest hole I found and didn't catch anything. Oh gosh, what is that? It's a green ear. It's a greenie. It's got some black fins. It almost looks like a peacock, like a wannabe peacock. See, dude, this is a daggum cichlid. Holy cow! Guys, look at this! Look at this cichlid. Oh my gosh, he's angry! Angry, look at him. He's trying to attack the camera. It's like a daggum fish tank up in here. Oh, he sees my crawl though. Sees that crawl, wants a little look. Oh, and he's got it. Oh, I tricked you. I tricked you. Oh, yes, I did. You came and looked right at me. And then your smaller than average brain said, I want that little crawfish. There we go. I tricked him. I feel good about that catch. Let's go here, guy. See ya. Oh, I feel it. I feel something good happening. You see that sign right there? Flood gauge. It's obviously mangled and not supposed to be there. But we had so much rain in Texas this year that this whole creek was over my head at one point just gushing you can see where all the trees are laid down i don't know how it didn't wash a lot of the fish out maybe it did but it's definitely uh not supposed to be there right here in this spot we've got a nice little little pool with some flow perfect spot for a large mouth to Hang out and wait for things to wash in. Oh, I got him. I got him. Oh, it's a good one. It's a good one. Oh, guys. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Oh, man, come here. Come here, boy. Oh, yeah, that's a good largemouth for the creek. Biggest one I've caught all day normally consider that tiny but hell that was that was a cool accomplishment I just walked like 200 yards through a creek that was kind of dry and then I got to this little pool and I just figured that this, this would be a perfect spot for him to hang out right where that currents washing through right there and he slurped it there he goes these dark little shady areas where, the, where these bushes are piled up are just textbook largemouth spots. Oh my gosh, I'm fighting, I'm fighting this green-eared sunfish and there's like a two pounder, two pound bass chasing it. Dang it, I want the bass. Oh man, that's a pretty sunfish though. Pretty sunfish, but I really wanted the bass. Oh man, I got one. I got one. Yeah, he had it. He was swimming. He was swimming with it. Oh, is it a guad or a largemouth? I can't tell. I think it's a guad. I think it's a guad. 
Come here. Come here. Nope, it's a large mouth. All right, I got my last little craw here. I'm gonna rig it up. Try to catch one more bass out of this little pool. It's got a little brush guard on the front, little wire weed guard, and it stands up. It stands up pretty good, like a crawfish, while it's down there, so that's key. I wonder if we can get on top of this thing. I'll probably be able to see some bass. Oh man, that next little hole looks amazing though. All right, we're gonna jump down on the other side. I gotta harness my inner LFG here. Oh yeah, I still got it. Oh, come on, yeah, come here. Yeah, oh, it's a sunfish, green-eared sunfish. Dang, those things have big mouths, it's crazy. Pretty cool looking. All right, I'm gonna end on the beautiful sunfish and this awesome view right here. I'm gonna walk my way back because two things are going on. Number one, I am uh, tired of walking through the creek. Number two, I have major Texas-sized thirst going on. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed watching today's video. If you like this style of fishing, go ahead and let me know in the comments. And let me know if you also like this style of video, just traveling and going to different lakes and you know creeks and stuff and just kind of exploring a little bit. This was something new and different that I did today. <laughs> Very random, but pretty fun. Caught some bass. So um, let everybody know in the comments as well if you know anything about creek fishing that I didn't mention today or you know I, I really kept it pretty simple and, and only threw one thing. So if you got a specific technique you like to use uh, for creek fishing, let everybody know. Make sure you go ahead and hit the like button as well and uh, help out the channel there. And if you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe as well, guys. Thanks for tuning in. I hope you learned something, and I'll catch you guys next time. Look at this land job. Yeah. Yeah. They want that easy. Oh, I lost him. No, he came off. Yeah. It's moving too fast. Now they're yeah, like, oh, man. Is he deep in there? No, he was kind of sound. Head. Oh, that was a big one, dude. That was a big one, dude. That was, what was that, like eight pounds? That was a big one. Holy cow, dude. He wanted that big, big shad. Heart's racing right now. That was awesome. <laughs>